Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Um, shooting this with my new uh, Canon Vixia uh, camcorder. So, if you feel like it, post up a comment and let me know uh, what you think about uh, this new camera. Anyway, today what I've got for you, one of my uh, friends on my channel, uh, 427 Lucky, had uh, emailed me with a question about jacking up his new Corvette. He's got a a yellow 04, I think. He says it's really beautiful. But um, he wanted to be careful jacking it up. So I thought I'd do a little video on uh, the way I jack up my 04 uh, Corvette. Now what I laid out on the ground there for you is uh, some jacking pucks. And they're all jacking pucks. Now what's a jacking puck? It's something that you put in between the jack and the body of the car, underneath the rocker panel, basically. Uh, almost anything can be a jacking puck. Uh, the, this one is billet aluminum. I bought, I bought four of those. Uh, there's several companies that make them. They're nice because they, they'll last forever. Um, the downside is you, you put them in the tie-down holes that are in the frame. Tie-down holes are what they tie down the cars with when they're transporting them on trucks or on trains or however they transport them. Usually it's trucks. Um, if you forget after you lower down the car because you can't see the thing sticking in there and you drive off, you're liable to let it, it, it'll rattle out and fall out in the street. Sometimes it'll stay in there for a while, but um, I've had them stay in and I've had them fall out too. Usually you, you hear it or you'll see it if it goes flying by you um, when it falls out and uh, you know, safely stop and you can pick it up. But uh, that's the downside to those is you could lose them. Um, that's a hockey puck. I think you can see that it's, it's split. Um, they don't last very long. Uh, some guys will put a little eye bolt in there, and uh, the eye bolt will act like this piece of the billet, um, the billet uh, jacking puck that I use, and it'll hold it up in there. You don't really need to hold it up in there. You can just place it on the top of your jack. I'll show you, and that's a piece of wood. 2x4. Actually it's a little big for a jacking puck but you could cut it down and use a piece of wood. So let me get my jack out and um, we'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So if you're going to use a hockey puck just put it like that. Um, there's a special place that you jack underneath and I'm going to show that to you. Piece of wood, same thing. Now this however you insert it in the hole underneath and uh, I'll show you how you do that. Uh, let me see if I can do it one-handed. Excuse me, getting out of frame there. I'm reaching underneath. There, it just went into the slot. And I'm going to twist it. And now it stays up there. Then you slide your jack underneath. You gotta be a, it's got to be a low jack. Yep. Let me make sure I've got this down all the way. I ought to be able to just get it under there. Sorry, this is a little, a little sloppy. There it is. Okay, now I've got that. Oh, I twist this. That's it, Froggy. If you twist that screen, it works. There. Okay. Now we're doing a little better. Froggy's learning how to use this camera. Excuse me. I'm jacking up. 
Nothing's touching the plastic. That's one of the important things here on, on how you do this. Now I want to talk a little bit about something else. Let me get it up off the ground. Okay, we're off the ground now. And back in the old days with Corvettes, you had to, um, they would tell you to open up the doors, open up the trunk, open up the hood before you jacked it up. And the reason for that was the cars were, the chassis or the frame of the car was flexible. So as you jacked it up, the frame would flex and the parts of the car like the doors, the hood, the trunk that are hanging off, the, the body structure would change their positions and they would bind up. So now, this is a good example. I've only jacked it up in one place. The whole side of the car is up. See that? That's the rear wheel. Is the front. So the whole side of the car is up. I'm jacking it on one end. I'm not even jacking it in the middle because there's no tie down in the middle. I'm jacking it on one end. And I want to show you, I'm going to open the door, close the door. See, this car is so stiff that even if I jack it up in one on one corner, let's let's call it one corner, it's not twisting. The the frame is not twisting, the body structure is not twisting, the door opens and closes fine. The hood, the same thing. I'm not gonna bother showing you the trunk. No problem. So this is a C5 Corvette. The older one, C1, C2, C3, Maybe the C4s, uh, I'm not sure. Seems to me, I had a C4 and I never had any problem with having the doors bind whenever I jacked it up and I, I would jack it up the same way I'm doing this one, basically. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you jacking pucks and the, the tie down point. I'm gonna get underneath and give you a picture, uh, show you a picture of that. And I wanted to show you that the C5 and newer Corvettes are stiff enough so that you can just jack them up on one corner and not worry about it. Uh, let me show you the tie down underneath. Okay, this is what we're talking about. This is where they tie the car down uh, when they transport it. This is the frame. On, on my car it's a steel frame. On the new C6 Z06 Corvettes, it's an aluminum frame. But this is, you see, you're missing, you're not even going, getting near the rocker panel. You're right on the frame. This, this little insert part here is, uh, it's riveted to the frame. So they didn't make it all in one piece. They made it in two separate pieces. Uh, you can see where I've, I've scraped the rocker panels because my car is low and you go over bumps in parking lots or those, oh, they, the, the British call them sleeping policemen or I don't know, but you can get, you know, that kind of a, a scrape. But if you want to jack it up, this, this is where Froggy Jacks is up. Right on the metal. Use a hockey puck, use a piece of wood, use a, you know, buy one of those billet aluminum ones. Don't lose it. <laughs> I haven't lost one yet, but uh, knock on wood. Oh, here we go. Let me, let me show you how it goes in. See, this is just made there. You put it in and you twist it, and then you jack. It goes right there. Nothing touches the fiberglass. So this is uh, for 427 Lucky and for any uh, of your other guys who are wondering about uh, jacking up your curve. To get it out, you just move it around and see it comes right out. Now there, there's something about, the diff there's a difference between the C5 and the C6. 
<laughs> there. This dimension right here where my thumb is is a little bit different between the C5 and the C6. So you got to you got to get the right pucks for your car or you might have to modify it a little bit. Maybe on the C6 you might have to shave off some of this aluminum. I'm not sure exactly. I haven't had a C6 yet. Uh, but that's what Froggy's got for you today. If you uh, have any questions or comments, post them up. Uh, if, you want more, if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Froggy out. See you later, guys and gals.